Welcome to Friday Fretworks. On this week's video, I'm immensely honoured to be the first guy to be able to show you this Heavy Water by 4P Effects. Now, just to give you a brief bit of background history on this pedal and how it came to be, late last year, 4P Effects released the Dane, a dual sided overdrive and boost that was the signature pedal of one Mr. Peter Honore. Now, Pete, if you're not familiar with him through Anderson's TV, you may know him from Instagram, or if you're not familiar with him through Instagram, you may know him from any number of the incredibly high profile session gigs that he's done in other years. Either way, a phenomenally talented guitar player and a lovely guy. Mad as a box of frogs, I don't think he would mind me saying that yet again, but just a lovely lovely guy, very much deserving of such a cool pedal. Now, I think it's probably fair to say that upon release of the Dane, it was met with pretty much unanimous fanfare. Positive reviews left, right and centre from magazines, from people on YouTube like myself, I added to the melee with a video which I shall link above. Sold out pretty much instantaneously through Anderson's. Just an incredibly in-demand pedal and that's continued pretty much ever since. However, I think it would probably also be fair to say that the one thing about that pedal that a lot of people really honed in on as absolutely loving was the boost side with its fairly innovative lows control. Now I remember actually nagging Adrian Thorpe at the time to see if there were any plans to actually release this in its own enclosure. Turns out I wasn't the only one, this being an incredibly high demand and fast forward several months and here we are with the heavy water. Now, as Adrian says in the manual for this pedal, not really being one to just be able to rinse and repeat. He's done as what people asked, we've put the boost in a smaller enclosure, but added a twist with a dual sided pedal. Now on the left hand side, we have the new germanium version in essence of the Dane. It's got a little bit more gain on tap, a little bit more grit, a little bit more grind, really reacts nicely to humbucker pickups, which I shall show you a little bit later on. However, for fans of the Dane wanted that uh, kind of boost verbatim, I guess, from that pedal, that's where the right hand side comes in. It's worth mentioning they do stack, they do pair incredibly well together, it's a very complementary size of the pedal. However, for this video I'm going to focus on kind of in, you know, in each individual side I guess. And the one thing that I always absolutely adored about the Dane, and still do to this day, is how it reacts with strat pickups. Now I'm pretty particular when it comes to which overdrive pedals I like with strats, very particular in fact, but the lows control really does something that I've never heard in any other pedal. It really fattens up single coils and just takes what might otherwise be a relatively sterile strat clean tone and turns it into something really special. However, if we crank that boost control, you're going to be pushing the front end of your amp that little bit harder and getting into a very kind of natural, organic amp breakup territory. Thank you. 
Now, last but definitely not least, we're going to move over to the left-hand side of the pedal. As I said, it's the germanium side, the germanium take on the Dane boost, I guess. And we're going to hit it with something a little bit hotter in the shape of my Patrick James Egel Macon single cut, equipped with two humbuckers. It's going to push it that little bit harder. And because it's the germanium side, we're going to be getting a little bit more gain out of it anyway. It sounds very, very cool. But before I play you that, I'm going to leave you. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Friday Fretworks. A massive thank you to Adrian Thorpe for entrusting me to uh, be the first guy to take a look at this incredibly cool pedal as ever if you enjoyed this please do subscribe and i shall see you next week for another episode of friday for our works cheers guys take care and i shall see you soon